Hi and welcome to the Dynamic Web demo of doing the standard way of Ajax controlling your shopping cart without writing any custom .NET code. Um, this part is about creating the hidden page. Uh, inside this um, small demo, we have uh, we need to create a hidden page. So we create a page, and in its properties, we just hide it from anything. And on this page, we uh, create a cart, so we can get the cart rendered, and we create the, a paragraph for the product catalog, so that we are able to add uh, products to to the cart. Um, this is uh, the, the trick behind this one is that uh, when we call this page from our JavaScripts, we need to be sure that these paragraph contents are rendered as XML. So the first thing is the, that each of these paragraph templates needs to be uh, cleaned up so that they uh, don't have any invalid markup that would uh, uh, mess up our XML structure. So inside the paragraph templates uh, in here, we have a uh, XML clean that is pretty much uh, very simple. But for each paragraph, we have the text output and we have the module. Uh, inside our page template, we have this page left, which is rendering the front end. We have a new XML, X, uh, uh, XML template. And this one is actually simpler. It just nests the DV content inside the page element. And the most outer template is the master template, where we have created an XML uh, HTML also. That is pretty much uh, as simple as the other ones, just nesting the page content inside a master element. So. The fact is that when I call this hidden page, I, it's hidden outside here, um, I get uh, actually uh, the thing is uh, render it as any other, but uh, there's a trick where I just call it with a master template XML and a template equals XML. Uh, and this markup shows me that I get the master, I get the page, I get one paragraph with an empty text, I get the module output, that actually outputs my, my card as a table, but I've ensured that this table doesn't mess up any XML structure, so it's it's pretty okay. I have another paragraph that is pretty empty, and the page is exiting, and the master is actually exiting. So that's pretty much the secret of having an, an Ajax-capable page that you can send commands to and get output from again. So uh, that was the hidden page. Thank you.